Welcome back to the Barbecue Lab. I'm David Gafford, and today we're going to take a look at two different brands of gas grills, both under the $500 price point. We'll show you both the Charbroil and the Expert Grill from Walmart, walk you through the details on each, and show you cooking examples as well. So let's crack these things open and see what's inside. <laughs> Both of these grills are five burner propane gas grills and they both have a side burner. Looking at them, they're quite similar, but there are quite a few things of note between the two. In today's video, we're going to compare both of these grills side by side and determine which one is the better value. Now, before we talk about the differences, let's first cover the similarities. Both grills have a very similar size overall. They're 23 inches deep by 53 inches wide by 46 inches high, give or take an inch for each grill. Now they're both similar in weight, weighing in around 80 pounds. They both have five stainless steel burners and one side burner. They both have a five year warranty on the burners themselves. Now each comes with a stainless steel lid on the top of the grill, and they both have four rotating and some locking casters for ease of movement. Both models come with a cabinet below for storage with magnetic doors to keep the doors closed. Both models are available in the United States for delivery or in-store pickup. Now here are a few ways that the grills differ from each other. The grill grates themselves are cast iron on the Expert Grill, while they're porcelain coated cast iron on the Charbroil. This comes down to preference, but for me, I'll take cast iron grill grates any day. The sear that you get on cast iron is just very hard to beat. Now, while there are the same number of burners on each grill, the BTUs or power of each burner is higher on the Expert Grill. The Charbroil has 7,500 BTUs per burner, while the Expert Grill has 10,000 BTUs. This just means there's higher heating potential on the Expert Grill. Now, lighting the grill is different as well. The Expert Grill has igniters on each of the burner knobs, so you can light any burner just one at a time. Now, the Charbroil has the igniter placed on the second burner from the left, so you have to light that burner first before lighting anything else, no matter which burners you want to turn on. Now, the warranty on the grills is the same, five years on the burners and two years for everything else. When it comes to cooking space, there's not much difference in grate size. According to the information available online, there's 696 square inches on the Expert Grill and 645 square inches on the Charbroil. Now, when you measure the size of the main grates, they measure the exact same at 17 inches deep by 27 and a half inches wide. The upper rack on the Expert Grill measures seven inches deep by 24 and a half inches wide and 25 inches wide by five and a half inches deep on the Charbroil. So you're getting more cooking space on the Expert Grill through the larger size of the upper grate. Now I know what I'm cooking, I primarily use the main grate. So let's take a minute and see what all would fit on the main grate in regular use. I went to the supermarket and picked up a box of quarter pound hamburger patties to measure the capacity of these grills. On the Expert Grill, I could fit six patties across the width of the grill and four patties along the side of the grill, meaning that we could fit four rows of six burgers for a total of 24 burgers at a time. Now I ran the same test on the Charbroil Grill and the data was the same. Four rows of six patties is what would fit on this grill as well. Now let's talk about construction quality for a second. To help determine what we're working with, I like to break out the digital caliper and measure the metal thickness that we're working with. The Charbroil is 1.08, roughly 19 gauge on the lid and 1.5 millimeters, roughly 16 gauge on the body. Expert Grill measures 1.35 millimeters, roughly 17 gauge on the lid and 1.22 millimeters, roughly 18 gauge on the body. Now with many grills in this price range, you'll find that the lids will wobble when you pick them up by the handle because of the weight of the metal is so thin. On the Charbroil, there's a little wiggle, but on the Expert Grill, there's no wiggle at all. Now I think this is because the lid is much heavier on the Expert Grill and you can tell when you lift it. Now I can't take it apart, but it appears that the lid is double walled, which is a rarity in the sub $500 range in my experience. 
The lid is all stainless steel on the charbroil, and the expert grill is stainless as well and reinforced with powder coated steel on the sides. Now when it comes to the wheels, the charbroil has four casters and two of them lock. The expert grill has four casters and all of them lock. Now I also want to talk about the knobs on the grills. The knobs on the charbroil are black plastic and the knobs on the expert grill are a type of metallic coated plastic, but I'm a big fan of the surround that each knob gets to hide the distance between the grill and the back of the knob. The charbroil has this as well, but there's still a large gap between the knob and the grill no matter how hard I press against them. The expert grill just simply looks better in this regard. Another difference is the heat tents or flavorizer bars as they've come to be known. On the charbroil, they're barely as wide as the burner itself, and you can tell it's just there to protect the burner from falling juices and food. On the expert grill, the heat tents are substantial, and you know when you're grilling hot and fast that the juices that hit this metal is going to vaporize and come back up to season your food. Now both units have a side shelf to put trays of food on whenever you're grilling. The side shelf on the expert grill measures 18 and 3 quarter inches by 12. The charbroil measures 18 and 1 quarter inches by 12 and a quarter. So very similar sizes here yet again, but with plenty of room for hotel pans or sheet trays to transfer raw or cooked food on and off the grill. The expert grill comes with the side shelf hooks for your tools, and we're not finding those on this charbroil model. Now we've talked about the feature set, the specifications, components, construction, and a whole host of other information. But for me, the proof is in the cooking. It's time to fire these grills up and make some lunch. price on these grills, I've said so far that they're both in the sub $500 range, but I haven't given you exact prices on each grill. Now here's where we can have a little bit of fun. How much do you think each grill costs? I'll put them both up here on the screen and I want you to get a number in your head how much you think each costs. All right, do you have your numbers? Now let's get started with the charbroil. This grill is priced right at $499 and you can get it directly from the Charbroil website or in big box stores here in the United States. Now next up we have the Expert Grill. Do you have your number for this one? This grill retails for $297 and is currently on sale for $247 at the time of this video. So the question you should ask yourself is, did I find $250 worth of differences between these grills? Is the name badge and some LED lights behind the knobs worth double the price? Now maybe it is for you, and that's absolutely fine. But bang for the buck, there's multiple categories here that the Expert Grill has better stats than the Charbroil for half the price. Now even if everything between the two came out even in build quality, features, and construction, one unit costing double the price is something to take note of. Now my hat's off to the Walmart team for creating a grill that more than stands up to the competition at half the price. Now if outdoor cooking is your thing, please consider subscribing to the channel. We put out about three videos per week of the best in outdoor cooking and outdoor living, and we'd love to have you join us as we review what's too good to pass up and what's just plain pass in outdoor cooking. We're on all the major social media channels from Instagram and Facebook to Twitter, TikTok, and right here on YouTube, and we'd love to have you join us. We pass on the sales and discounts we know of in the barbecue world, as well as help you feel more confident in your ability to entertain outdoors. Our motto is that life is better together, and we're all about equipping you with the best gear, teaching you winning techniques paired with amazing recipes to make your backyard the only place to be all season. 
Now we'd love to have you join us, so hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you'll be notified when new videos are posted to help you raise your outdoor cooking game. I'm David Gafford from the Barbecue Lab, and I can't wait to see you next time as we dive into what's new in barbecue. We'll see you then.